ever wonder what's inside one of these foaming soap dispensers and haven't got a chance to tear one apart yet? In this video, we'll take a look at all the pieces and parts. The parts are very similar to your typical soap dispenser, but we'll go through the differences. This is the pickup tube that actually picks up the soap and it's the outer portion of the cylinder. Now look closely here, there's a real small clear ball right here. This is part of the one-way valve that allows the soap to be sucked up in one direction, but not the other. So when you take your hand and you push down to get some soap, this allows that one shot of soap. This next piece is similar to a piston in a car. This moves up and down very tightly inside the cylinder. This motion is what moves the soap all the way to the top. This next piece will actually connect the top of the pump to the piston ring. It also holds the mechanism that creates the foaming soap. Here's the little piece that'll actually create that foam. It's got two very thin screens on either side of the cylinder. So it'll introduce air into the soap and that's where you get that foaming soap from. Then the last two pieces in the lineup are the ring that screws to the bottle and the soap dispenser that you pump. So to get an idea on how these pieces interact, we'll go ahead and put everything together. So we'll take this real small clear ball and put it on the end of the spring. This will be placed into the cylinder at the bottom near the pickup tube. The ball is allowed to float. Therefore, when you pump in one direction, it'll be free. When the vacuum pulls it up the other way, it'll lock the system. If you look closely, you can see the ball roll back and forth. Now, while I'm putting this piston ring in, I'm gonna go ahead and put some silicone grease on. Silicone grease is one of the few greases that is actually safe on plastic. It's not made with petroleum, so it won't break down the plastic. So we'll put the piston ring in and the part that connects the top of the pump. Next, we'll add in the piece that creates the foam. It's held in place by the pump handle and the piece that connects the piston ring. Now, before we put the top together, we're gonna to need to put the ring that'll connect the bottle. Now, the connection piece goes on, and this does have the aerator part at the top. Now, the ring that connects the bottle. And last, we've got the top of the pump. This will direct the soap into a 90 degree right onto your hand. Now, we'll be able to put everything back together on the bottle. Now, we can give it a few pumps, get everything primed, and eventually, we'll start to see that foam. So if you were ever wondering what was inside one of these foaming soap dispensers, now you've got a better idea. Well, I hope you enjoyed checking out the internals of this soap dispenser. I really appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.